Again, it depends. Um, so yes. you could be a manager who oversees a portfolio of trials, but that is only possible if the trials that you oversee are actually a very slow pace trials. So perhaps there are trials that have closed recruitment and they're now in the follow-up stage, which means that you don't have any potential incident at the hospital where a patient is being overdosed or underdosed, or there are problems with sample collections because all of that part is now closed. So in that case, you could oversee many trials altogether but there have been instances where i've been allocated to one trial only because it was a high risk trial there was sample collection intense uh, there were many registrations of patients every single day so again it depends on which type of trial you work in the higher the risk the trial yeah. the less chance you have to be involved in other projects and there might be just your only baby uh, for a number of months and years. Cool. And do you work with a multitude of other clinical trial managers within UCL or presume because as you said, if, yeah. So the way our um, clinical trials unit is organized, we organize depending on the cancer setting. So we have different teams depending on the type of cancer that we take care of. So I'm in the group that takes care of uh, solid tumor um, clinical trials only. And I would say we are in a team, but we work independently. So we have senior uh, managers and senior group leads that do oversee our work, but our trials are, I would say, for a single uh, trial manager. So you, your work is very, very uh, independent, but you do oversee uh, the work of data managers who are allocated to different trials and they're responsible of sample of data collections and um, data cleaning, data queries. So you oversee that work for your specific trials. Mm -hmm.